Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, Episode 18. Thoughts? This episode's called All Roads Lead. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode. The episode is rated TV 14, so will this video be? Let's dive right in. So yeah, um, I really appreciate it. This does not waste any time getting us right back into what we were obviously most hyped about. Talbot as a sleeper agent. Let's see. And, you know, Mac, as usual, really just such a great person, you know, trying, yeah, trying to reach out to, to Talbot and saying, like, you know, if you need to talk about it, you know, and, and Talbot is, of course, like, oh, can't do that, cannot talk about it, you know, and um, yeah, uh, Ruby keeps throwing the chakram, that's what it's called, yeah, the, the, for some reason, I keep forgetting to look it up. But the, the um, subtitles noted the chakram clangs near the end of the episode. But yeah, you know, she keeps throwing it very close to, to Simmons to keep Fitz motivated. And then she says, I ship, I ship you too. I really do. You know, she's, she's her OTP. That they're her OTP. I may not have gotten quite enough sleep last night. And and yeah, because Deke is now trying to be appealing to, to Daisy, you know, yeah, he I mean, he probably like looked on the internet or something and and yeah, you know, as as you know, Mac is like Is is that body spray? Is that axe? Dude, you gotta pair it with a shotgun, otherwise it's just not gonna work. And um, yeah, um, is Creel better? He's worse. And yeah, you know the the one can completely understand how it would just you know yeah having these you know yeah I guess is it supposed to be like a metaphor for Let's see, it could be for DID. I guess it's more like schizophrenia. Let's see. And and yeah, this thing of, you know, Carl, yeah, Creel barely touched the Gravitonium, and, and Ruby is planning to have her entire body infused with it. Yeah, very nicely done with the setting up this... Um, yeah, what's the word? How how dangerous this is. And and yeah, um once Mac and, and Colson are talking about, you know, they're like, dude, Deke, you you told us when you were on drugs that Deke is like I mean drugs make you say things. That's why they're called drugs, that's why they're bad. You know, and <laughs> I mean the thing with lemons I can understand how that, yeah, you know, lemons were maybe expensive, so that's why the that would be a, a positive gesture. But but yeah, you know, in a in a world where lemons are not super expensive, it wouldn't necessarily mean anything. And I love this little moment where Mac and and Colson like turn to face each other and, and give you know just non-verbally in, in like a fraction of a second because at this point it's been made clear Deke does not stand for anything so he will fall for everything he actually believed the the, the I, ah, crap I forgot the exact line but one of the I think it was Colson who said something that was obviously sarcastic and Deke responded as if it was sincere. So, you know, at this point, the question is, should they go with it? Should they should they tell him to, to push on with with the lemons? Or you know, I mean certainly you can you can squeeze the lemon thing for a while. 
or do they, you know, yeah, do they tell him, no, that's absolutely not a thing here, and, yeah, it's, Deke has been such a jerk to so many people, you know, more more than a jerk in some cases, so, yeah, them messing with him, and I, I hear that's a bit of a thing for, like, Joss Whedon shows to have, uh, um, I suppose he's not quite, like, nerdy here, but have a guy who's not super appealing to, to various female characters be really into at least one specific female character and trying to find out how to appeal to her. And... Yeah, uh, very clever to, to blow, you know, they they cause an explosion at the base itself and then plant the, the I forget what it's called, the, the, uh, the pod, you know, right in the, yeah. And, and yeah, honestly, seriously respect that General Hale, you know, she's like, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm giving myself in, you can, you know, just please help me save Ruby. And I do really appreciate that, because, yeah, after all, you know, she did legitimately think that this would help Ruby. You know, she says later, I just wanted you to reach your potential. And it came across to, to both her and a lot of us viewers as abusive parenting, you know, but, yeah, so not every abusive parent does actually hate the you know their offspring like the important thing is that they stop being abusive but some relationships can be repaired not the one between Hale you know General and, and Ruby by the end of this episode obviously and we get another really great fight involving in in this case it's both Daisy and May and, you know, yeah, they're taking down guards. Let's see. Yeah, and, and Werner points out to, to Fitzsimmons, you know, you didn't seem to mind torture when you were, you know, giving me these, you know, electric shocks. And, you know, he's he's got a point that was, yeah. And, and I appreciate, yeah, Talbot is caught looking at Robin's drawings. And he's like, you know, this reminds me of by Boy George. I mean, my boy, George. And... <laughs> Shut up. And, and I love the, the little thing of, you know, you're coming with me. I know. Because, yeah, she's seen it. And that was also, she made no effort to run away from the situation. And, and yeah, Hale, like Daisy actually says, Ruby could be an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., you know. And, which I think might actually, you know, at the time, the general doesn't fully believe, but, you know, yeah, by the end of the episode, Ruby is dead. So I, th I think the fact that General Hale got her hopes up that high and then had them dashed. I think that might have been part of why this goes so wrong. And and yeah, when you know, really compelling line when Ruby says, "I'm don't tell me what to do, John." You know, cuz cuz yeah, everywhere she goes, people are telling her what she can and can't. Let's see. It's not a bird, it's a plane. It's it bird plane. Very you know quality Superman reference. And let's see the yeah really really intense when Ruby is inside the machine like screaming, and you know they let her out and she's now like floating which she continues to after death, and. Yeah, you know, she accidentally kills Werner with, you know, yeah, without trying to. It's giving, like, King Midas. And, and I, I gotta say, I kinda love, like, 
literally Werner's last words were, I'm not going anywhere. Which, in, in his defense, he thought that was true. He thought that, that he did not realize that would be an unkeepable promise. And let's see. Yeah, and, and, you know, Ruby, you know, tearfully tells her mom, there's something really wrong. Yeah, it's called puberty. And the... Yeah, really, really terrifying when when Talbot, you know, points the gun at his own head. And, and you know, yeah, um, Coulson tries to actually use the fact that this guy is being mind-controlled to, to help resolve the issue, you know, trying to use the, the code words. And... Um, yeah, I like the the bit about you know wanting to help versus wanting to control. And Elena kills Ruby, you know, and and just says, "I just saved the world," you know, because she, you know, that's like that's the other side of it. If you, you know, she's convinced that she will survive into the future you know because of what she saw because she saw her future self but it also means she does not think that you know, basically she's convinced that there's no saving for example ruby you know which you know one can understand why but it doesn't seem like dead ruby is actually less like there's it, it seems like there's still a, a threat there because the the dead body also floats some and and I could see how yeah you know once the powers have been unleashed it may not you know the fact that Ruby is now dead may not be enough to prevent the destroyer worlds and we end on General Hale talking to Quovas and telling him to kill Shield. The yeah, the agents of Shield. Very very tense. Love it. Let's see, right? And I I didn't pick up on this somehow. Um, so MDB trivia for this episode. Someone pointed out, you know, the, so the episode has the lemon thing. In fan fiction, the hashtag lemons means the story will include smutty slash NSFW elements. Yeah. Which, I mean, yeah, that is one way. Like, if, if you give lemons to someone, that could suggest, oh, smut, you're, you're, that's what you're looking for. And I, yeah, I like the red rum, red rum. We're looking at drawings. Yeah. Um, next episode I cover tomorrow. And yeah, really looking forward to it. They're doing a really great job building towards the, the finale. And let's see. Yeah, the the Simmons tells Ruby, everyone that you care about will die. Not a long list, and it's getting shorter. Let's see. Yeah, I empathize with Max saying the idea of the Zephyr flying in space still feels a bit out there. You guys are useless. It's lemons then. In his defense, you know, Colson was going on about mind control soap once he was in the framework, so you know, yeah, it's it's not the most ridiculous. Let's see. 
Right, also some great moments about how um, the, the arms, Elena's arms still aren't perfectly calibrated. You know, she grabs a uh, some machine gun or assault rifle, something like that, from one of the mechs and and fires it and and is clearly in agony. Over. Let's see. And yeah, you confessed when you hopped up, were hopped up on painkillers. Piper and I couldn't get you to shut up about it.